So great to see all of you. Um, this uh, this Monday is um, we're beginning the third week <clears throat> of the Omer, and we're beginning the week that is um, the week of Tiferet. It's like a compassion, beauty, um, harmony, and it's it's Chesed within compassion. So we combine the qualities of um, loving kindness with compassion. So I started thinking about compassion and it would be hard to ignore the um, events of, I think it was today or yesterday with an, another horrible tragedy in Minnesota with this man getting shot at like a traffic stop. And uh, this one seems like it was, a, you know, so to speak, a complete accident and still so tragic. Um, thinking about compassion and one of the texts that I came across um, was very beautiful is, is a um, sort of a well-known uh, verse from Deuteronomy that says the following, if a bird's nest happens to be before you while you are around in any tree or on the ground with young ones or eggs, and the mother bird sitting upon the young or upon the egg, you shall not take the mother bird with the young. You shall let the mother bird go, but the young you may take for yourself to eat. In reward, all will be well for you and your days will be prolonged, which is a pretty typical um, device in the Torah that, that we're told that if we do things, we do meet vote that our, our days will be prolonged. Um, and Maimonides comments on this, he says, People should be restrained and prevented from killing the two together in such a manner that the young is slain in the sight of the mother. For the pain of the animals under such circumstances is very great. There is no difference in this case between the pain of man and pain of other living beings. Since the love and tenderness of the mother for her young ones is not produced by reasoning, but by imagination. And this quality to care for one's children exists not only in man, but in most living beings. Zohar, which is the book of Kabbalah, explains that this mitzvah is meant to awaken and intensify God's mercy on all creations. The pain which the mother bird suffers when she is sent away and forced to abandon her young awakens the forces of mercy in the world and releases an outpouring of mercy from the heavens above, which alleviates all kinds of human suffering. Here we have added the quality of rachamim, <clears throat> something cultivated that is broader than the mother and then God, creator. It is something that our imagination can create in us towards the whole world. The sense of compassion and mercy um, combining with loving kindness, that the idea is that we, we are able to have compassion and mercy upon a small and delicate creature like a bird because of our own loving kindness, not only towards the board, but towards our own children. And the, the imagination of that, that Maimonides is talking about, this is where like compassion intersects with loving kindness. Um, when, he, when Maimonides talks about the imagination, it's like the imagination of what if they were my children? Like, what if, what if those were my children? How would I feel? Um, and we think, you know, with Yom HaShoah being so um, nearby that we just observed it, we also think about the separation. So this really powerful force is coming together, loving kindness combining with, with mercy. Um, and it reminded me of one of these songs that we've used before, um, which has to do with um, loving kindness. And it's this, it's this Ahavat Olam by um, Yofia, I should say. Um, with great love have you loved us, um, O oh God. And it, it talks about exactly that, um, that, that you have loved us. And, you know, if our parents give enough love to us, then we feel, I think, uh, empowered and secure enough to give that love to our own children and to other people that we meet in the world. Just like if God gives compassion and love to us, then we feel the ability and the Rahmanas, we feel the, the, the sense of mercy or compassion 
and love for every living being that God has felt for us. So this is the, this is the um, intersection of Tiferet, of compassion, of Rachamim, of that the beauty of compassion and of loving kindness of chesed. So we'll start out just listening and sitting <clears throat> to this beautiful track called the Hava Rabah um, by Yofia in her album Kabbalah Kirtan. And, um, and then we'll just sit for a little bit and we're going to focus on this idea of compassion and how we can elicit compassion um, from within ourselves and show compassion to those around us and see them in their own pain. Sorry, Aza, we're not able to hear you. Aza, it's a problem. It's not good. Yeah, it's um, the music has just not been um, not been right. So there's a problem with the sound, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, actually, you you sound okay, but the music wasn't. 
interesting. Let me try to turn off share sound and see if it will run. Let's see. Um. Same, it's better. No. How about now? No, it's broken up. Interesting. Is that any better? No, the same thing happened last week with the guitar. Oh, strange. Can we hear it through your mic? Instead of sharing? Maybe it requires a... Um... Maybe it requires a like a Zoom update or something. Okay, we'll just send you some guided then. Imagine if you meet people in your neighborhood walking down the street or the shore or a place of business. People really you don't you don't know that well. Imagine having compassion for them. Same kind of compassion as if you found them on the ground, having fallen over, having been injured.
injury that you can see. Relate to a broken ankle, a scrape, a scratch. Imagine that we pretend that there are scrapes and scratches within. Person may be on the ground incapacitated emotionally, mentally. Especially if they speak with anger, vitriol, or resentment. And think how much we have to ignore our own needs. Just to see them. Forget about the me for just a few minutes. And that feeling when you've helped somebody off the ground. Put their heart out to you. They walk away and you feel lighter, better. Zillar says it opens up the mercy of heaven. It opens us up. It lightens us. We have spent that much less time on ego. Our own importance.
just gonna try one more time to see if this adjustment that I made helped the music at all.
So this is the week of compassion. As this whole week goes by, let's find ways to see others as we see ourselves flawed in need of compassion, in need of love and empathy. Maybe spend several minutes on others and forget ourselves. Bask in the glow that comes from touching others, connecting. Reaching out sometimes instead of reaching in. Bring our hands to heart center and we chant together the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Thank you everybody as always for being here, for meditating on the Omer with me, practicing compassion. Next week we will meet again on Monday and continue our study of the Omer. And I hope you have a safe and healthy week where you can connect with others.